Hi, this is Jim. I've been a craps dealer at the Las Vegas Hilton and on the Las Vegas Strip. I've also taught casino dealers and I've owned and managed schools for training casino dealers. None of this, however, prepares you for being a good player. There are so many systems and methods of playing, but unless you know the odds of your winning, you're never going to get good at this game. So the first thing you should understand is how the mathematics work. The dice game, craps, is a purely mathematical game. Uh, the casinos and the odds are 100% understood. It's very easy once you understand the way the game is played and what the odds actually are. So how do you calculate the odds on a dice game? Well, we're using two dice here's one and one of the things you'll notice it's one to six wherever you see like for example the number one the opposite side of the die will add up to a seven so the opposite side of the one is a six the opposite side of the two is a five the opposite side of the four is a three so one through six always the opposite side it gives you the possibility of dice having with six sides on each one 36 possible ways for the two dies to land so if you have two ones that's the only way these two dice can land out of 36 possible combinations uh, to come up with the number two the same is uh, true for uh, the number 12 so the number 12 the dice can only land this way. So if you keep going this way, you'll find out that there's 36 possible ways. So sometimes people say, well, no, you know, it's a 5-4. I mean, a 5-4 is a 5-4. No, there's two different ways for these dice to land and have a 5-4. This die with the 5 and this die with the 4, or vice versa. It could be this die with the 4 and this die with the 5. That's a different combination. So. 36 ways for the dice to land, there's only one way to get a 2 and only one way to get a 12. That means your chances of rolling a 2 are 1 out of 36. So, now, if the casino paid you, if you bet $1 that the dice would come up 12, and the casino paid you $36, that would be the same as flipping a coin because they're paying you exactly what the mathematical odds are of coming up with that number. So, unfortunately, or fortunately for the casino, uh, they don't pay you 36 to 1. It may be 30 to 1, 35 to 1, whatever it is, you can then calculate what the house's advantage is when they pay you. The point of understanding the mathematical calculations of the dice and how they fall is that no matter what you bet on, there's always a way to mathematically calculate what advantage does the house have on beating you at the game of dice. What does this do for you? Well, obviously in the long term they're always going to win. But when you take advantage of the odds and play or pe place bets that give you a minimal house advantage, obviously in the long term you're going to do better by betting on those bets. So there are some bets that have less than 1% uh, advantage for the house, and there are others that have more than a 10% advantage for the house. So do you want to give them that 10% edge, or would you rather keep it under a percent? That's what you can do when you understand the mathematics of the dice game. The bets with the best margin for the players are known as pass or don't pass with odds. Once you have a point, you need to rethrow that same number before a 7 shows up in order to win. And what are your chances of winning now? Well, that's the other part of this game. I said it was all mathematics, and here's what the chances actually are. If you roll a 4 or a 10, they both have the same amount of possibilities of coming up. They have three chances out of every 36 of coming up. It can be for a four, it can be two twos, which is also known as a hard four, or a three one or a one three. 
Now, what is your mathematical chance on this 3 or 10, uh, if that's your point? It's actually at that point 2 to 1 against you. Why? Because there's 6 ways for the 7 to come up and only 3 ways for the 4 or 10 to come up. So it's 2 to 1 against you. Here we are with your point 5. You want to know what are my chances now of winning and getting this 5 before the 7. Pure mathematics, 6 ways to make the 7, 4 ways to make the 5. 3, 2, 2, 3, 4, 1, 1, 4. So, 6 to 4 or 3 to 2 are the true mathematical odds of you making this point. And just to finish up, we have the 6 and 8 still, uh, which are the other numbers. Again, they have the same mathematical odds, both 6 and 8, uh, because there are five ways to make either a 6 or an 8. So the odds there are 6 to 5, mathematically over long millions of rolls of the die this is what the uh, statistics will be six to five uh, you'll lose six times for every five times that you win okay so let's recap in the beginning of the game on this come out roll we had a two to one better chance of winning versus losing on that first roll but the better chance was that we're going to get one of these numbers and then depending on which number we get it's either going to be 2 to 1 against us, 3 to 2 against us, or 6 to 5 against us. When you put all of it together, all the possibilities, the house has more or less a little bit over a 1%, close to a 1.5% advantage uh, on your $10 bet that you placed. In an upcoming video, I'll show the actual placement where you need to make these bets on the table. But the odds bet, oddly enough, the odds bet doesn't have a marked place on the table to put it. They're not advertising that one too much because they have no advantage on that bet. It's an even money bet uh, for the house as far as statistics are concerned. We have place bets come bets, field bets, hard ways, all the other types of bets that are on the table. The little six and eight are in the corner. Don't use them, please. Anyway, we'll get into that in the series. Keep watching and thank you.